Often when you buy USGS topographic maps, they will not have any grid lines on them. Uh, they will only have tick marks on the side for your UTM uh, 1000 meter uh, tick marks and then your lat long tick marks uh, every two and a half minutes up the map. Uh, to put the grid lines on there, uh, what I use are these Pigma Micron pins uh, at the advice of maptools.com. Uh, these seem to work pretty good for the UTM. I use uh, blue size 01 or, or number 01 which is a 0.25 millimeter uh, tip on it. Uh, you can see that or not. Probably not. For the lat long I use a size 03 which is a 0.35 millimeter tip. So all you do is line up, uh, again you also need a uh, three foot cork back ruler for this. Simple enough, just line up the ruler on the uh, latitude lines here on the tick marks and draw your line. Got a little hung up there. Uh, do the same for longitude. Where is it? here where I've had this map folded in my pack. Not quite on there. There we go. And you're all your line. So you'll end up with a line here, here, uh, here, and here for your two and a half, or two and a half minute uh, latitude, longitude lines. What you can then do, uh, if you want, this map is based on true north. It's oriented true north on the paper. So if you were to use a uh, base plate compass with this, to line up your orienting lines on the compass, all you would have would be two lines at uh, two and a half minutes apart. What I do, and it's, uh, some people probably wouldn't like this because it makes the map look kind of busy, is I take a uh, two and a half minute lat long ruler using the uh, tense side on it line it up in the corner like so and what I would then do is take a red pen this is a uh, Prismacolor Premier same thing as these Pigma Microns it's the same same pen same kind of ink I couldn't find a Pigma Micron in red so I got this and every half minute which is the 0.5 every 30 seconds. Uh, 0.3 on here is not 30 seconds since this is intense. Every half minute I would uh, put a little red dot on here to give me 30 second marks and I do the same thing up in the top corner uh, of the map. Uh, red dots. And then I use those red dots to line up the ruler like so and I then I then I then uh, draw in lines every 30 seconds on the map in red this is a 005 uh, red which is a 0.20 millimeter tip 
and that way I have long, uh, longitude lines based on true north that if I wanted to I could put a base plate compass on here and every 30 seconds I've got the lines and that allows me to line up the orienting lines on a on a base plate compass uh, without just trying to eyeball it to one of these other, other lines. And like I said, do the same thing on the UTM uh, marks upside the map with the blue pen and uh, eventually you'll have grid lines on the map. Okay, here's the finished map. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it with the lighting in here. I've got the blue UTM grids. Uh, I've got the uh, black lines every two and a half minutes for lat uh, latitude, longitude. Uh, that way I can use a two and a half minute lat long ruler if I wanted to. And then every 30 seconds I have the uh, little red lines on there uh, of longitude. That way every uh, if I wanted to use a uh, base plate compass on this with orienting lines, I have something to line those orienting lines up with. Uh, makes it easy for me at least having those on there every 30 seconds. Uh, like I said, some people may not like that. It makes the map look kind of busy. One thing I also want to point out is uh, since this map is based or oriented on the paper uh, to true north, you will have one UTM grid line that comes off the map. You'll have a uh, a tick mark for it up at the top of the map up here but you won't have one down at the bottom of the map so what I do for that is I take my uh, slot tool line it up on the last grid so it's sticking out and then I put a dot there at a uh, the 1000 meter mark and I use that dot to line up the ruler and then I have that uh, one line on the map and just draw that line in uh, to the edge of the map. That's it. That's what it looks like.